Hey gang, welcome back down to Billy's Bluff. We have our work cut out for us today. We're going to be working outside of here, the gap. Basically, you can see we've got this smashed in sort of port just here with a sort of smashed in freight yard and, and a little bit of uh, street network. Well, we're probably going to be deleting back all the way back to here and deleting all of this stuff down in the front here in the foreshore. It's all going to go and get a rework. Why? Because of everything we did over at um, Greenmount, Landers, and Han Hope over here is why. Now, before we crack on with uh, getting the sledgehammer out once more and demolishing a lot of this, which is going to be nightmarish because we've got a lot of lanes. Uh, lines, sorry, not lanes. We've got lanes and we've got lines. These lines here are all hooked up, so we're going to be upsetting the apple cart when it comes to doing that sort of stuff. Right, let's go over and check out some of the decoration stuff we've done down here. I'm going to go back to Alt-G here, okay? Now, as you know, let's go overhead. Last time out, we got our little plan in. And if we face it this way, our little plan was to get the port in. Remember the purple, I mean the pink sort of squares. Get the bridge in with our road networks and our roundabout system. We've got more roads going in and around here. Um, and I even put in the extra... Uh, uh what is it um water dam that's it the dam and i've managed to put a road way on top of it right so i guess we'll just start with here so i put the i fixed up the dam so it actually sits like down on the water properly or in the water uh and we've also got this r nice beautiful road that runs across the top of it causeway style that goes down into each town so it's another way for the towns to access each each side here and it's actually helping a little bit with the traffic now and then sometimes it does bank right back to halfway down the bridge but mostly it's actually helped alleviate a little bit of pressure through the town here uh, which you can see down here traffic wise not too bad actually and traffic wise over here where it was all banked up is actually not too bad again down here either so looking pretty good with that sort of stuff going on i guess with the fact that people can get lifted and shifted via tram now is going to help that out too so that's all that sort of stuff done i did go ahead and put a lighthouse in here we've got the little lighthouse keeper down here he's out having a fish today he's got a little boat shed with a spare boat and this boat here because the only way to get to this lighthouse is via boat so either over here to han hope or um over here to actually land us okay then down here I've begun work on the rock wall like we said we were going to put in. We're going to put in like a nice sort of rock break down out here. Uh, I potentially might put one in around around here somehow a little bit. Just to kind of make this cove look a little bit more cozy. And a, a little bit more protected from the elements. Uh, and I've started doing a bit of rock wall over here. Plus a little bit of decoration with uh, framework and brickwork. And then we've started putting in some crane work for that sort of stuff. Yet to do, I'm yet to do a lot of the decoration stuff for the passenger port side, i.e. undercover areas, bench seating, decorative stuff, that kind of stuff going in, and vice versa. The um, I haven't done any of the uh, decoration stuff here. However, I have done a lot of decoration stuff for our freight yard. You can see here, like I said last time out, we were going to put in this retaining wall all the way through here frame it up with some metal works all the way up there and also get a nice fence in on top that makes it look really industrial like the place has been established for quite a while add in throw in a little bit of um you know sponsor um billboard action throw some trucks in some cranes and some office buildings and it starts to make it look like it ties in here nicely i've gone ahead and painted cement in and around here to make it look like it flows like pathway networks in and around and then gardened up a lot of the uh, a lot of the trees that were sort of fixed to these plots. I just used the uh, painting brush to paint gardens in and around it, basically. So that's that. That's what that looks like so far. The last thing we sort of decorated down here was the actual tram yard. Now I wanted to give it this really old school look of old school brick brick fences, like from the early 1900s style you, you think I'm, I'm thinking like from like 1930s 40s sort of era you'd have these beautiful old brick walls uh lined across here uh and you say so you get you get this old school and this new new i mean this old school and this old school look just lining lining your roadways down here right basically like that i think it just comes up really nice it gives us a really nice sort of old school feel down here and that's what i was going for basically right pretty cool if you ask me uh what else is happening down here they've got this nice radio tower that helps them 
out and about we've got this uh we've got this road here is actually utilized for the sheds if you look at our actual tram sheds where we buy them from are just here one and two so they can go out that way that way that way that way they can go multiple ways right to get in and out we've got a little car park down here with the office buildings nice little gardens down here and then yes we've got the actual mechanic shop where we can work on the trams themselves right so if you you can't quite look in there but you, someone can, can get under there like the pit to work on these things now these aren't trams finding a tram asset mod is difficult i just used bus asset mods these ones are really good because they kind of have wheel covers on them to make them look a bit trammy and from a distance from a distance they're trams <laughs> okay uh, and that's a lot that's the decoration stuff i'll be going in see the traffic starting to build back up and it will start to um it will start to flow again sooner rather than later but yeah i happen to think it looks brilliant down here i really like it really happy with how this is coming up uh, a lot of uh, so next sort of decoration stuff will have to be this passenger tram passenger uh, station in and around here and the actual rest of the port and maybe some more rock work right so that's your lot here for these guys basically now we just need them to start filling out and building in and around and doing what they want to do out and around these sorts of areas today we've got to get smashed into here go away please um, so basically what we need to do is uh, we need to look at where our square is going to be. I've already had a bit of a look, right? So that's the block we're working on. So instantly, it's no good for bashing in something in there, right? Or we could, but it doesn't, with this big out, uh, peninsula section here, this like uh, point that we've got here, it's no good because we've got ships coming up from here. If we If we sort of make a nice little cove about here... The ships can come up and go keep going out up to that way vice versa the ships can just go straight up into here and yes they can do that from here but i just it makes more sense to have it pushed down here further so it means deleting that deleting this station a lot of this road stuff we're going to be moving this stuff down to here so that's what's going to happen for the moment i'm going to leave this hooked up I'm going to delete what I can for the moment purely because I just don't want lines being upset at the moment. Now the train's coming in here. I we the, the freight the freight station's going to be hard. It's going to potentially be moved down this way. However, it's going to be hard to put it in. I'm going to have to figure out a lot of stuff. So, IE the station probably has to sit more here to give a lot more room for the uh, rail yard to go in. So, can we just hurry up that please because I need to get shot of a lot of this stuff now it is going to upset a lot of lines here i think we have we've got the grain trucks coming in here hmm this is going to be difficult i think we're going to have to go pausey pauseys that train pretty much gone yeah it's up over there and uh, wait till it's out of the tunnel we shouldn't need that far anyway pause okay so well i am gonna have to take this with an axe we're gonna have to be brutal the connection to that station is now lost. That is gone. I know you're upset. It just is. It is what it is. The, sta the, the rail here is going to have to go right back, I'm thinking. To so like there. Even there. Okay. That's where that's got to go. This has to go right back. Ah, oh, no. I've done that the wrong way. Um... I need to delete you. No. I need to delete, delete you. Right, we need to send you guys backwards this way. Knowing that we have to get that back in at some point. In the future, we'll take you right back to there. Oh, that's dangerous. Right, we're going to take you right back. Yep. Yep. This was always going to happen. Uh, I guess you just have to be... I don't want to upset the lines coming in there just yet. That's why I'm not really... Taking these out. Like that there. It's got two points. They just can't access each other yet. This here. This has got like three points. So it goes, um, it goes Hammerhead Port. And it also goes up to Gordo Flats. Right up here. Right. So that's just what's going on there. We're going to take out some of this now. Yes. My roundabout has to go. Unfortunate. That just means we can put another one in. 
I'm going to take you all the way back to there. I'm probably extreme. I don't need to, but I am. All right. That's going to give us the clearance we want to get everything in we need to, right? So, unfortunately, that was for the train. And that's for, the, uh, for these trucks here, I would assume. Where is that one? Are they coming from down here as oh they're coming from all the way down here as well wow okay right 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 first things first we know that we're going to be i want to try and get it as close to this side as i can to leave us enough room this side so we're going to start out here i'm not going to take too much okay i'm not going to take too much of the land and in fact i'm actually going to do this i'm going to do this in two parts i'm going to do Ah, yeah, I am. I am going to do this. Okay. So I'm actually going to take a bit of land across like that. And this will kind of be our, our, um, our, um, cargo on the, on the left hand side and passengers on the right. I've got a bit of an idea how we can sort of achieve this. Passenger one probably doesn't need to be too big. I'm just getting, once again, I'm just showing, I'm just getting a generalized, um, damn it. I need you to be lower. Like, I need you to be that high. Yes, brilliant. The lower the better, please through here okay we need you at uh we need you at wharf height not um mr wharf from next generation ship shipping wharf okay that's quite a lot lower than the actual town itself isn't it yep but it has to be just has to be a thing all right how do we feel about that i'm gonna have you come down there i've got a bit of an idea how we're gonna do the train station down here i'm gonna keep you square i'm gonna cut you off get this round one get a bit of that I mean, I could mostly do a lot of that stuff later, but that's pretty much how we're doing that. Okay, that can, that can be a thing like that. Right, so, next. I can finish off that later. I'm just trying to leave myself enough room to do what I need to do. I want to try and bosh this in as quick as we can because, you know, before we know it, time's upon us. We're going to use this old school look. Over here, we use the new school look. Over here, we're going to use the old school look. I want it to look like it's been established for a while. So we're going to use these old yards here. So instantly, I'm going to go there. Uh, passengers will go down that way. And I'll show you what I want to do here. So we're going to have, uh, I'm going to do something a little bit different. It's a little bit different. It's a little bit nice. I'm going to have you, uh, now that's instantly in the wrong spot. How can I, um, where do I want you to, maybe they're there, yep, okay, that'll work, because then I'm going to have passenger ones down here, like that, brilliant, um, yeah, I can take a little bit of land back. We don't need you to be huge. What I need you to be is like that. That, oh, wait, hang on a minute. Uh, well, actually, yes, because then I'm going to put you there. Brilliant, right? Wait for it. Wait for it. The actual train station, the passenger station, the passenger train is going to come down here into a terminus before it can head back out this way onto the freight line and back around. That's how I'm going to do it. I'm not going to do a through and through station down here. Okay. It's quite nice because it gives this building a really nice outlook over the water out here. Plus it's got its little jetties. We, I mean, we could even stick these on here like this. We could add a couple more smaller jetties like that. And I think that really lends itself to something quite nice. In fact, you could probably go. We could have just put you in. You probably would have looked better. That makes 100% more sense like that. It does give us a lot of passenger stuff. And in fact, now it makes me want to do this. Because that to me looks a bit better. 
We don't need a whole heap of passengers. We've, we're only taking passengers to here, potentially up the other end. So if anything, if anything, more passenger stuff could be out this way. Like that. I'm not going to put one there for the moment. I'll leave that. Right. Um, so that's that. For the actual cargo, the plan is to... I want to have some small ship in, stuff in here as well. The plan will be now... Damn it, you're at a different height. Can you... Yeah, yeah, you can have that, which is fine. Um, no, it's not. I kind of need you... I really need you... be there and I need you you sit on the end of that How can I do that I have to do it like this Okay, like that. Right, that's better. And then that can go, right, beautiful. Um, the hardest thing is, I've got you running on the outside there. No, that's okay. So you are running, your join is there. I'm just trying to get this symmetrical. I need it to be symmetrical for what I'm doing. That's right, okay, brilliant. So that can actually go, and I'll put in... This is where these come in handy, these little sections. They come in handy for just filling those spots. I'm not going to do that, though, for the moment. I'm going to leave it open there. We'll just chuck something else in it later. Now, for what I'm thinking here is... Um, this is where it gets a little bit trickier, because what I'm doing here is I'm going to have that open... I need you to do it this way four times. Right, like that. This is going to be an opening for ships to come in and out of. Then I'm going to run the same on this side. Right? Now, here's the thing. That side's going to be closed. So for this one, we can run, literally run the smaller ones where it's, it's going to give us small port stuff, which is brilliant. Then we run the big one. This side's, oh, I can't run the big one there. You bugger on toast. Well, I think maybe our corner one needs to run like this way then. Right, so, because what I want is I want ships running in here. They can drop off at the small port, but I don't want... I just didn't want small ports there. Um, I kind of wanted that, but it's, see, it's at the wrong... It's the wrong size, wrong shape. I, I suppose it could run like that, couldn't it? Still not right. That just doesn't look right. So what if you took this, put that out there... You know, that, that makes me feel better about that. That's a bigger gap. It's in line, and it's a bigger gap for that to get through. That makes me a heck of a lot happier, actually, because what I can do here now... This here, I wasn't really going to use. I, it's not, it looks like it's not connected, but we're going to picture it like a barrier. It doesn't need to have any connection. It's not typically going to do anything, except for we're going to park some boats at it, and the only way to kind of get there would be via boat. I thought about putting in a little bridgeway system, but I'm not going to. So it's literally just going to be a park up for, for other ships and other vessels. Uh, the small boats one, we could probably do one here. That's fine. We could probably even do more like this. Right, so we can have small boats going in here. I just want to mix it up because I'm always doing the same kinds of things with the ports, right? 
And I think it would be interesting to have small boats go in there. And we can have room for larger boats outside. We don't... I've got to be honest. We could put one in here, I guess. Yeah, sure. Why not? If, you get, if they can get a large boat in there, that's a miracle. Makes me think I should... I'll just take that one away. That, to me... Too large, too small. I could even throw another small that side, but I don't want to because I want ships to come through there cleanly. This here will be a park up for ships. The only way to get to it will be via take a little, um, like a little boat, like a small, a small tinny sort of boat out there. I think that'll be fine. This here for landings. Did I put the landings in or not? No, I didn't. So we can have one there, one there. Um... I don't want one on that side. And we'll have a large one just here. That's all we need. We can do decoration stuff with the rest of it. Right, uh, for this, I was thinking about landing this stuff in here, like that. Right, so there's a connection point just there. There. Ah, oh, that's wrong. I'll take all of that there like that. Um, I do want to have more connection stuff here, but like, I kind of feel like we should throw a couple of these in. You probably, uh, just to mix it up a little bit. If that makes sense. No reason why you can't have that, except for the fact you've got bar uh, bollards. But I think the bollards just, they're there for a reason. Right, I think that that will look quite good out here too. Looking back over that way especially as well. It, you, you would think these towns would have to be very port heavy industries because of the actual river that they've got on with all the resources that need to flow up and down the river. So I think in terms of port, Ah, uh, we need to fix something up over here first. I need to get this. I need to get that. Take it a touch smaller. We're going to have the train down here. So I want you like this. Right. But I kind of like the look of having the water right up under here. I think it's a really neat little feature we can get looking here. Because we're not actually utilizing um Well hang on, no, we no no we're not we're not utilizing anything down here. So I think the the thing I'm trying to go for down oh I didn't mean to do that. The thing I'm trying to go for down here is what I'm saying. Oh my gosh. The big, maybe slightly bigger might help. Here's a bit of a feature. A bit of a water water moat sort of feature thing here. Now I've got auto save chiming in. Not helping auto save. Yeah, and then... Yeah, yeah, we can do something fun with that. If I just hit play... Do I want to have that? It looks a bit... It looks a bit man-made, doesn't it? Well, it's, it's kind of supposed to. Leave it. We'll see how it goes. If I need to close it off, I will. I need to just do this quickly. We've got to put these in, right? Otherwise, we're going to have no connection for the trains or for the passengers. Speaking of, it's going to be tricky down here. You know that, Ham. Well, here's the thing. I've got to get the, I'm going to put the passenger station in now. I want to get this stuff in now. Passenger, we're going to go this. I'm going to go two. We're going to leave it at the 160 length. Now, the, the thing I want to try and do down here is get a bit of a stop in. Maybe the two-person one might help down here. However, that road's going to be tucked there, which is not going to help us. So I think I need to close up that water gap just there to get what I want fitting in here, which is okay. It's a compromise. It just has to happen. I still want to leave a little bit of water feature. Right? We'll have to see how we can make that work. I don't know yet. 
have to see. Is there a way we can have that like that, or does it have to it has to sit this way, doesn't it? And then if so, that's fine. I've got another idea then. Um, okay, so what, what, what we're going to do here is we have to have this come down like that. I need to squeeze as much gap over here as I can. Yeah, like that. That's pretty good there. Now give me that. Um, might need a little bit more water area out here. When I say water area, land area. All right, just take what land you need for the moment because I need to be able to put it back. Yeah, that weirdly works like that. That's not too bad. I will accept that. And I want to take this land back here a little bit now too. Yeah, yeah, yeah like that. Thank you. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Now, now we have to try and get the train station in. Which I didn't want to, I didn't want to have it sticking out this far. But we kind of need to. Now, it does tuck in there. It's kind of crappy because having it like, having it down here would have been better. But then the road next to it. But it didn't work out with the way we've got this. I might have to play with it. I'll see how I go. It would be brilliant if it could come right down here, wouldn't it? Could it come down to there? Could we get, is that a thing? Is that a thing, do you think? For us to get it down here? Leave that one there. Oh, could you imagine? Could it be a thing? Let's just see if we can make this a, this reality a, a dream. We kind of don't need that then, do we? We only need them here. Anyone uh, still with me there? You all still with me? Hang in there, gang. This all, this all. Ah, uh, we didn't need that much width either. Brilliant. This is brilliant. That means I could probably get back some skinny ones. Oh, please, please, please. Okay, we need to go back to negatives. I know this seems quite tedious, but trust me. Oh, come on. Yes. A boardwalk. We can put a freaking boardwalk down here and then you can have those back there oh hang on what do we have down here then uh i think you came like that didn't you yeah which means we got an awkward awkward corner there's nothing we can do is there you could put it to there and then you could put these in like that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hang on, hang on, hang on. That's not a bad idea. It would probably be better the other way around, though. So you had the jetty out this way. And then you had... Oh, you sucky, sucky. That... We're making this hard. Uh, okay, I'm gonna have to utilize these pieces here. I think to get the build I want Otherwise the game's not gonna help me. I had to help myself then. Oh, now I can't build off those 
<laughs> there are things you got to do to get what you want. What I want is I want this at the back here lined up with that. So I have to take it. We have to go a few few steps back to go a few steps forward here. Okay, get that. Then you should be able to get that. So we can now get. Uh, oh my gosh, ham. That. There we go. Right. And you can leave there. You can leave there. You can leave there. You can actually go back in there. Brilliant. Because now we put our jetty down here, our boardwalk style thing. I'm going to actually utilize this, this section here to put restaurants, shops and stuff on. And then we've got a beautiful, nice boardwalk that comes down into this area here. Except how am I going to get this lined up? So it fits in here. Well, so quite simply, I could take that one out. Oh, come on. And then what? Ah, uh, yeah, well, this is where it gets a little bit tricky, isn't it? You know, you, you could, you know, like, having that in there would work, but then the train station doesn't work. So we're kind of like, it'd be nice to just slap a block in like that, but it looks horrible. Good news. This is the compromise we've got in place. So... I, I thought about it logically. The, the the sort of deck here stops there. You come around this way and back in here. And it'll all make sense when I get some shops and stuff in and around here to make it look like it's all meant to be. And then I've put the nice little water feature in here to give it a reason why it kicks around like that and then back onto here. I think it's brilliant. And in fact, because of that reason, I want to actually now put a landing right here and give it a purpose. I think that's just brilliant. And in fact, that'll probably, instead of these ones here, I'll leave that one there, but I'm more inclined to kind of, oh, I just had a thought, leave that over there so that's how it works. I just had a thought, how do you feel about doing something like, oh, brilliant, that's what I wanted to see. And then what I'll do here, I'll use this as decoration, to actually put some fishing jetties off. But that's brilliant. And then I could probably just tuck the land up here, level it off, and I can do some lovely painting stuff in and around there, you know? That makes uh, sense to any of you. I think that's brilliant. I think that'll look good. The trains now, it's sort of like it's amalgamated at all into the one sort of building complex. You know, trucks, I mean, bus stop, train, and ships all together. So you just get off at the one, at the one sort of junction here, and it's all done. I think that'll look really good. As far as the freight station goes, this is where it's going to get a little bit more difficult. We uh, we're going to keep it plain Jane. Now the freight line is just here. Uh, I'll go high speed for the moment. But we are going to have to change it out. I've got to now figure out if I want to put four stations in because it's going to be quite heavy and we need pass-through stations as well. It's got to be quite big and I need it to be angled. That's the hardest thing. It's kind of got to sit on this bit of an angle now. But the other, the other hard thing about this is the fact that we've got a train line that needs to come out and connect up to it. So instantly, there's our train line tunnel just here where my collision word is there if i can get this like set to there it's going to give me much more room for turnaround stuff however it doesn't give me much room down here to do a lot of things because if i have this kind of here what about the buildings the buildings i can take care of later it's kind of going to be better there okay just put that in because what i need to kind of do here now I'll worry about the train tracks another time, switching them out. If I can just switch that out there, give me cargo buildings, please. Um, now, I want one here. Brilliant. So you work there. 
And you might work here if I can get a miscellaneous thing. Like, that's not going to work. But that is. Okay, brilliant. So that's no good. I'm more inclined to leave that like that. Um... Now, I'll show you what I'm trying to, what I'm just trying to figure out here, right? Plenty of connection points now, so we don't have to worry about that. In fact, give me that. That'll squeeze in there nicely. That'll squeeze down there nicely to give us a couple of, give us a look on something that we want, which is okay. I'll even squeeze a bigger building out there, and I'll just try and make this look like it's something here now. In terms of what we're going to have going on down here. And then give me a couple of that, and then one of those. Okay, brilliant. So it looks like it's something. We can now, what we can do, because we've got all this linked, even though they're at different heights, which kind of sucks, I want to see if I can do some kind of terrain manip. Which I sort of can. I want to go too nuts, so... But what I want to do is I want to get the paint tool and I'll show you. Yeah, actually, give me the assets tool. Give me that. Give me that. Just get rid of those trees to there. Right. Now get our paintbrush because we do something like this. I think it's this brush here, is it? Right, we start to paint that in. And it looks like it's all part of the one sort of complex then. So no matter the fact that we're on an angle here, the fact we're on an angle doesn't really matter anymore because it all blends in and it's all connected, right? See? And then what we can do is we can try and squeeze a truck down here. Uh, the only reason I say that because you start to get these nice sort of, this is the way everything's flowing and then you've had to put in something angular so to tie it in, we've tied it in with the actual ground complex and we can tie it in with the truck stop. For the truck stop, like using one of these obviously would be kind of cool because it really does blend in, but there's no way to get it in and out of this place. It's too tight. We can use like a large cargo station. Can we fit that in? No, we can't even fit that in. So the next bet is medium industry. That's no good. We've got medium small, so medium small small city or medium small city. So we could instantly throw in like this, right? Can we have you like? Why are you that? Oh, you're the height of the actual cargo station. Well, you know that's fine. You can be that height, and then what we do is we'll throw in like a regular truck stop, but we'll throw this in as a one platformer on a touch of an angle. down at that level. Right, so then we can figure that. We can wallop a few, we can wallop one more of those on. We can even put some of, ah, uh, actually, to make it look even better, we can put some of these in. Actually, crane would be better, wouldn't it? 100 times, and then give it a, just give it like a hopper. You want a hopper or not? No, I don't. I just want to leave it like that. Uh, but you can throw like some of these in. Oh, don't even like that. We're too far this way. Okay, well, I can throw some other buildings in. But that kind of gives us like a, a crane, which kind of takes up some of that area. Park a few trucks down in here, a few more cranes around, and it's going to look really good. Now we just have to worry about getting a road in and out of here. Is that a thing? This is subject to change this road as well. Right, subject to change. That one's at a different height, remember? So it's got a bit more of an uphill driveway, which is fine. 
but you can see i think it look i think it'll look really good once that complex is all completed and done and you've got the passengers all tied in and we've got the rail tracks going down speaking of rail let's have a look at that now today gang because there's a lot of lines that aren't connected up we're about to finish up the episode i think shortly we're not going to be able to get in um crap we're gonna have to take this as tight as we can. We're not gonna be able to get into track riding because if I do a track ride, I've got broken lines and I just don't wanna, I don't wanna have the lines broken uh, while we do some track rides. So today, I am I do apologize. It's kind of where we're weirdly going against tradition and foregoing the regular track ride along. And it's been a long time since I haven't done a track ride along, I wanna say. Can you get out? Oh, you can get out there. And we can bypass you straight in there. So if I actually bring you that way, and you that way. <gasps> wow. It's not going to be super quick out of there. I, I'm well aware of that. But it's something. Now, I want you going both directions like that. And I want you coming out both directions like up this way. So, to get the look here that I want to get, we're running single gap down there. Oh, it's at different heights, Ham. And nothing ever worked. <laughs> All right, from here into there, from here up to there, right? Now, get you into there, and you mate into there, right? And then from here, you go up there. Now, the trouble is here, I don't think I'm gonna get. If you come into a line. We're gonna have to do a line switch elsewhere, I think. I'm not gonna get you steep enough to do what I want here, I don't think. That's no good. It's all very complex sometimes, isn't it? So if I wanna have you like that, which is fine, and you like that, it just means I can't get this diamond crossing here. So if I bring a train, I might have to bring the train down here and back out that line but I guess it doesn't matter if we end up switching them to do what they need to do now here's what I need to do here right I need to get these two lines here we're gonna have to do some phantasmagorical switching system here have you nice and flat and straight please same with you no running hills, please. Just flat. Oh, okay, that's flat. I was running this one up on a hill. No, you are running flat. That's supposed to be flat. Run this into here now, please. That's temporary. That's just so I can see that that was actually flat. Now, what we do is we get this one and we get this one. This is how I know I should have done this to know it was flat, but either way it's flat. Right, so we, and then we'll get this one and we'll get this one. And we're gonna be running into these two middle tracks here. So you're gonna be running into that. We're gonna be running into that. Uh, no, you're not. Get this out of my head. You should be running like that. But I think, I think I'll have you running like that. So these two tracks merge into that side. Yep, that's how I'm going to do that. And then that one there runs into there. 
right? Get rid of this now. It's all very complicated, I know. And then, so that's that one taken care of. And then these two here. So we're running from the outside. To that one. About there, is it? I'm trying to get these as even as possible. Okay. Brilliant. That's how that's running. <laughs> we got there in the end. Take you all the way up there so we can put a couple of like shunting trains or some kind of service system in. That is how that's going to run. Up into there. Right. Now. You may think I'm finished, I'm not. We actually have to get you as split off that way. Brilliant. And then you'll come off here too. What are you doing down here? Okay, thank you. Sometimes you gotta coerce it. Change up your change up your direction, change up your angle of attack sometimes. That's brilliant. That's a really pretty looking bit of track. So those two into this one, those two into this one. We've got a couple of spare runoffs back here or whatever. And they come through here. So no matter what, no matter which 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 lane you come out of through here, no matter what, it all ends up getting over to here. Or eventually, we have to do this. Right. Brilliant. We put a diamond in. Right, and we can get a nice, uh, we can get the train switching as they need down there. Right, and vice versa, we could probably put a diamond out that way too. Um, are we happy with that? I'm actually relatively happy about that. Yeah, uh, the last thing we're going to do is finish up this, don't we? We do. We've got to run something similar kind of style down here. Um, a little bit more difficult. Right. Not meant to do all of that. I need to get my head visually around this. I'm a visual person. I need to see things visually. Right, so if that's how we're going there, we need to get these two tracks singing and talking on the same project, on the same thing. So we're going to take you out to there. Brilliant. Brilliant. I'm loving it. Amazing. As simple as that. So that means our passenger line, we might need a bit of a like diamond in here. Also. A diamond on a curve too, that's brilliant. Just in case we need train switching and doing whatever they have to do to get over to there. I could probably run the line out over here, but I don't want to. That's for majority. That's going to be majority freight straight through there. Now, what kind of a uh, bridge or what are you going to do there? Well, I'm not. I think because we have to get this all moved down into here as well now. We've got to get everything rehooked up. I've got to get the roads in. I've got to get all that sort of stuff done. I'm going to leave it there for today. That's definitely out with the old in with the new. It's definitely a massive upgrade. I've got to get the road back in here too. We'll, we'll figure out the road network next time, all right? Because we've got to get the train line in. We've got to get the ships running. We've got to get the freight running. We've got to get a ship line in here. So next episode, that's what we're going to be working on. We're going to be working on 
um, getting all the lines hooked up, getting the road network hooked back up, getting um, all the products that we've just stopped, getting them working again, and we're going to get our passenger line hopefully running at some point next episode. What we also have to do, the reason why I've got this split off here is A, either more freight, or B, we're, we are going to be, so it's it's not even a question, we are going to be running people down this coastline into, into Sandy Shores, potentially back up the other side there to hook back up in with this rail line coming here. So back up, up here around, potentially, we, I mean, we could even cut under the farm to hook back up to there, might be quite nice. I could, like it's deep enough, we could probably get a cheeky tunnel up under there, over to there and down the side. So some pretty, some pretty farm track ride alongs. Yeah, into some nice sort of scenic stuff. And I think we could get it looking really, really nice. Anyway, that's your lot. Let me know what you think about all the decoration. Let's go to Alt G. Let me know what you think about this. Do you like do you like our little um like this is this is where they all work. This is the actual, you know, they've got the big reservoir tanks for the actual dam itself to hold the water for the town. We've got like their car park, their work up there. We've got another access route across. Uh, let me know what you think about the decoration down here. Do you like our little like our our little construction? Not construction, but maintenance yard for the trams. I, I like it. Just adds a few elements of stuff. Let me know what you think down below. But I think if we start to look at this as a picture, as a whole, let's look at it from the angle we've always been looking at from. I think we're starting to get a real sense of what's going on down here. Yes, that looks a little bit dog's breakfasty, like it's sticking out like a sore thumb. It hasn't been decorated up like this yet. Rock walls can come in up around here. We can potentially even put more rock wall around the outside there. Might look really good. Rock wall around there. All the shops and stuff in and around here. Road networks. We'll get the thing looking Gucci. And I think you'll agree it might be enjoyable. And down here, things like to get the ships coming in this way and then back out that way. All we would do is uh is put in uh put in the waypoints you know like this so fish bash bosh waypoint out waypoint in right get it like that please and to the point where i wouldn't even put a in out in in out at each one it's just literally that's how you get into this port here that's how you get out right Pretty self-explanatory out of here. I really like how this came up. I was in two minds about it, but really happy with it. All right, gang. Stay safe wherever you are. Stay glued to your screen. Apologies for no track ride along today. We will make sure we get on top of that next time out and do a lovely track ride along next time.